Damn David here. Just call me David. And uh, I got news. You guys were worried about the car. And uh, I kind of shit my pants about it, I'm not gonna lie. I'll just show you. Because we're in the exact same spot where the car should be, but it's not. But I have a surprise for you. Now you're probably thinking, how the hell did the car get all the way over here? Well, I know it's video, but I've had two days to mess with it. I was pretty worried, but I have good news. You see this bad boy right here? Let me show you something. While everything was going on yesterday, I was getting ready to upload the video you guys just saw. I, I made sure everything was filled. I made sure there was no leaks, no anything. Um, I pulled each spark plug. Um, like um, I got a comment uh, suggestion to pull the spark plugs. I did a few other things and everything looked good. I'm pretty sure it wasn't a, you know, something actually internally in the motor. What I was worried about is it got way too hot for too long. So I thought it might have melted something or warped the block or done something and I did start the car. I drove it around for a little bit and I, I know that you guys probably wanted it on camera and I wanted to get it on camera, but you ever get so anxious about something and you're so scared that something's going to mess up or it's not going to work unless you like fix it right now, right now, right now. Well, that's kind of what came over me and I didn't even think to get it on camera because like I did, but at the same time, I'm like, I got to get this fixed now because this is the difference between me paying thousands of dollars to fix this thing and go round two or just it working. But either way, the car seems to be running fine, but I did find the problem. Uh, it's not the first time this has happened to me. I don't know why I didn't think about it. Um, and I thought that, you know, couldn't have been the only problem considering all that went wrong with the car. But this little spot right here is where your thermostat goes. Well, I took this apart and I took the thermostat that was in there, which was a 180. I took it out. It's in here. This little piece right here costs, you know, less than $30. I've been through a couple of them, but it's never got the car super, super hot. Well, I put this one in a pot of boiling water and got it all the way up to 220 degrees and it never moved so it's stuck where it's at and this little tiny mod almost cost me my entire build I don't know why this is this way um, I drain a lot of my coolant to check for trash um, I, I just I did a few things in a panic kinda I'm impatient as shit and I couldn't sleep so last night um, I was jacking with the car too with a flashlight like you know how you can't sleep unless you know something's gonna be okay that's kinda how I was like I couldn't just like yeah I was fretting so um, but the car man it just white smoke everywhere I just think that was from the coolant I think the oil I think that happened because the car was just so hot and there was stuff coming out and there was oil on the ground like I think that's what happened and and last time I ran the car aka last night now, it was the first time I started it and the first time I ran it, and it seemed to run okay. Everything is running fine. I still have a check engine light. Um, I aired up the tires, and I even washed the car. Actually, I didn't wash the car myself, but uh, before I went to work, I dropped it off at um, this place down the street that washes the car, and uh, I just got it back. And uh, I'm about to go do some stuff. Uh, with the car and we're going to drive it around and hopefully it holds true because we are going to Houston. I can't say I'm not worried about the car still, like everything's fine because I don't know, like I said, I only ran it for a, a little bit, you know, it seems fine, but I haven't done any long term driving with it and um, yeah, this, this thing could fail again. I don't know why I've had a couple of these that just fail, but man, it could have really just destroyed my car, like I've never had the motor that hot like I've never like I've always seen it just coming up I think it was a couple of light pulls I was doing and that's what elevated the temperature so fast and hopefully that's the only problem I think that's what's caused it like I know this is what caused it the thermometer stuck but I hope like it didn't create any long-term effects because I just don't know what got destroyed I don't know I have no idea I can't say the car is 100% good, but the car is running. Um, it starts, it runs, it doesn't have any kind of crazy error codes, but there is a check engine light, but that was there before. I don't know, I'm just kind of worried about the whole thing, but at the same time, like it's not as bad as it could have been, and it's not as bad as uh, like I thought it was. Pretty much the, the main topic of this video, this freaking thermostat, bro, like that pisses me off so bad. Like, it just doesn't make sense. Like, I don't know, dude. I'm gonna try to find a solution. This has happened to me before, but this was just like a wor the worst case scenario. It got hot so fast. 
it's stuck like a hundred percent. I don't know. Thank you guys for your support. Um, holy shit! Looks like the car's staying for. I mean, it lists a little bit longer. Also, yesterday I took my Instagram stickers off my car. This is now clear again instead of black. Um, I removed all my at handles, all my other stuff that was on the car, and I'm about to go pick up some more stuff. Um, anyway, I, I don't know. I'm still anxious to start it. Like, I've started it once, but... <sighs> okay. All right, here we go. Man, I can't even tell you how good that sounds. So, look. See? Okay, so, I have my coolant temp already pulled up because I've been messing with it. See, the check engine light comes on, which is deceiving. But the car doesn't seem to be running weird or anything crazy. Like, before I even leave, I'm going to make sure it's not stuck. Like, it's a new thermostat. This is, like, my third one. And um, I bought a really good one that's on the way. Like, the one that's in there right now is from AutoZone. But I'm ordering one that's, like, a really good one. It's, like, 40 something dollars. It's going to be here soon, so... Real quick before we wrap this video up, this is the next day after the video I just filmed. The car was running good, but now I know it's 100% good. No more. Um, I think it might be good. I went to a shop. I had the oil drained again. Uh, I just changed the oil, so, you know, I'm out a little bit of money, not only for the thermostat, but for the oil. It's worth it, though, to make sure the car, I mean, it's way cheaper, way, 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 way worth it as opposed to something being wrong. Um, I started going through more comments as I was getting them, um, even since uh, yesterday when all of that went down. And I was seeing check for coolant in the oil, check for this, check for that, and it's nothing that serious. We drained the oil. We drained everything all over again. Uh, we reprimed the system of coolant. Um, everything checks out, everything looks fine. Um, there was no need to reopen everything. I already checked the spark plugs and all of that shit. Um, not, none of the spark plugs are closed. Um, everything so so essentially in a nutshell what happened is the car overheated really fast because i was doing a couple pulls and it's never overheated that fast the thermostat has gotten stuck before but it's always just unstuck at like a higher temperature but this it, i mean the motor was almost 300 degrees for two minutes and you know i asked you know when should i have shut it off whatever it was like oh immediately why well, let it run for two minutes and I was afraid that when I started it, the block would just be fried, and no, apparently the uh, car is doing fine. It hasn't caused me any issues. I got to get this check engine light taken care of. That's still a pressing issue, but unless there's something that you guys could think of that might still be wrong with everything running fine, and it could be a problem that something got melted or whatever, you know, uh, let me know if you have any experience with that. I had a lot of you guys showing support in the comments, and I really appreciate uh, you know all of the suggestions all of the stories you guys shared with your own cars and i try to reply to everybody but this was definitely a crazy ass situation you know, I, I may have overreacted a little bit i you know i gotta admit but i mean holy shit man i mean it's scary dude when when you man i'm telling you when you mod your engine and it's like nobody to fall back on you can't get your insurance involved you can't get nobody involved and like guys i just finished paying this motor off so i'll do better in the future guys when when something messes up i'll try to get more of it on camera but i'm not gonna lie guys i was uh, i was about to cry over this shit like i was being positive about it and, and i was but um just uh, it, from the minute it happened i've been struggling to get the car back and working again and make sure everything is good so you know excuse me for not exactly having the camera out and that was like the least of my concerns because you know the content is important but you know i don't make any money doing this you know and i'm like i'm worried about like am i gonna have to cut a check for this shit like it needs to be fixed now it needs to be fixed it's either okay and it, right now and it's good and i don't have to worry about it or it's not good and i need to start saving up my guap and be prepared to tell everybody that this shit's fried so i'm repeating myself i do that a lot i just want to be thorough with you guys i i want you to kind of I feel bad for not getting it on camera, so I want you to know the whole story. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm leaving this time for real. No more of the uncut videos. This shit is so boring, and I, man, like, this was serious. Like, the, the crazy shit's coming back. I, I mean, like, I'm in good spirits. It was just kind of a bump in the road, but, you know, we have a lot of those around here, so we're going to kick it up. Um, next couple videos we're dropping are going to be badass, and we got some badass bangers. It's going to be a lot of fun, so we got a lot of stuff going on, and the car is here to stay. So, um, yeah, for anybody following this and, and all of you guys, like, yeah, the car is going to stay. I know I changed my name, but I did that for other reasons. You guys will, 
you know, it's going to be there forever. So, you know, I did it so you guys could start getting used to it. I'm much happier with the name, you know, and like I said, Hey, Yellow Fellow Never Dies. You guys know me as Yellow, and that's basically it. Same shit. New me. <laughs> new name, new me. Not really. Uh, same piece of shit i always been. So, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Don't do anything in this video. It was boring as f Don't like, don't comment, don't stuff, blah, blah. You know, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And...